tutorial we'll learn how to create this glowing text effect with these curves this is a completed version of what we'll be doing so let's start by creating a new document and we'll keep the background black once you have done that create a new layer and fill this layer with black as well and we can we could use the gradient tool radial to fill in the color but since it's uh, really difficult to fill in a color for example if you fill in like this let's take a darker color for example this green we would not know exactly the center or it would be difficult to create this radial so let's create a new layer again and fill this with black we'll be using the blending options to adjust the radial so double click on this part of this layer or you could simply go to this FX and click on blending options once you open this style dialog box opens click on gradient overlay and let's change the style to radial once you have done that we'll be taking a dark orange color which is already created here you could note the color it's actually 8 852 B00 a dark orange with black once you have done that you could adjust this radial by simply clicking and dragging it anywhere you like which is more easier than using the gradient tool on the layer once you have done that click on ok and we'll be duplicating this layer press ctrl G which is a shortcut key to duplicate the layer once you've duplicated it create another new layer below this duplicated layer we just created and we'll be merging both these layers so select the top layer and press on ctrl E to merge you could see that it's merged and the blending options is off so which you can't make any more changes once you have done that change the blending mode of this new layer to color dodge so you get this more darker orange effect and let's add a new different texture on this if I already have a ready made glassy effect here so we'll be using this the easier the easiest way to drag it on the page here this is another way and this is the normal basic way you could also be on this layer and right click on the layer here and click on duplicate layer once you have done that you could change the document destination to glow text effect or it's actually the untitled one which we are creating now it would automatically take this and make a copy here in this layer above all the layers once you have done that we'll change the blending mode to color dodge it's really bright so let's reduce the opacity to about let's say make it about 12 12 is good let's create a new layer and using the pen tool we'll create the curves which we saw in the final version so let's use a brush before using the pen tool let's adjust our brush tool making this 5 pixels the hardness to 100% and make sure you have your foreground color to white using the pen tool let's create some curves so we'll try to make something like uh, S so let's click and drag this once you drag this it makes a curve from the point this way it's the direction you want the curve to come from and let's click here and bend this that's too sharp let's come somewhere far okay, once you've done that let's bend this a bit more here once that's done right click and click on stroke path to fill this with the brush we adjusted 
using the brush tool select simulate pressure so that it gives you a soft edge from the end points once you have done that right click and delete the path or you could press escape twice let's press F two times so that we have an easy look and zoom this a bit you can see what we have here uh, the point by using simulate pressure we make the ends completely faded Once you've done that, let's name this tail1 and let's create another layer and we'll name this tail2. We'll create a few curves here. Let's create another one. Let's take it from this side. So I'll click and drag inwards. And since we don't want both of them to look same, let's turn this direction a bit like this we could end it up here right click click on stroke path make sure you are on the new layer which we created using the same settings of the brush click on ok and you could press escape twice to delete the path once you have done that let's create another one from between here somewhere like this so let's drag this and turn it here I think this would be okay let's adjust the same settings here and delete the path it looks kind of okay it's exactly just what we need you could make any curve you'd like once you have done that let's add some blending options to all these three layers we'll be creating one same setting and duplicate them to both these other layers so let's double click on this side to open the blending options dialog box and we'll start by creating some drop shadow you could see what we have here since we're creating it for this curve let's have a look so what we're doing here let's open the drop down shadow and we'll change the blending mode to co color dodge with the color of FFC C700 orange kind and we'll change the opacity to 100 make the distance and spread 0 and make the size up to 6 change the contour to half rounded you could see the effect here which makes it more bright and once you're done with that let's add some outer glow change the blending mode to color dodge it gives you a sharp glow uh, color dodge takes the color and makes it more bright on the background it has let's change the opacity to 50 and we'll leave the color default spread to 0 and size will make it about 20 pixels that's it, we'll that's as much we'll add with this effect. So let's zoom back here. Once you have done that, let's duplicate this same blending options to the other two tails or curves. So hold on your Alt key and when you see this FX here, it shows that this layer has some blending options. Same with this layer here. So holding your Alt key, click and drag this. You can see the FX here, it duplicates this blending options to the layer you are on which is highlighted with a rectangle black once you leave you duplicate this on that do the same with the other layer so you see all the effects have come on this other two curves you could even add some more curves here and duplicate that let's add another curve on this side using the pen tool I've created a new layer let's call this tail 4 and we'll add some something like this stroke path to the same settings of the brush here we have using the same technique holding your alt key drag the fx to the above layer it adds the same glow to that the reason is we separated all these layers is so that you could move them like for example you would like to move this curve 
you could select this layer and move them around if you would join them all together you couldn't move them separately once you've merged them or they are not in the same layer let's turn this a bit so let's create a new layer and call this let's call this particles with this layer we'll try to give some shining effects around these curves let's first go to our brush tool and we'll select a size of about 8 pixels hardness let it be up to 100% and press on your F5 to open up the brush editing which opens up here you can edit some more set add some more settings to your brush like scatter them around or any extra settings like colors changing the color dynamics or any other let's go to the brush click on this bar here to add some settings let's change the spacing to about 500% and there's a size hardness up to 100% let's add some shape dynamics we'll add the size jitter to about 100% and we'll select fade and add some fade to 20 fade to 20 sh sh shows you here is a preview of what your brush would look like when you would paint it over your layers fade 20 would just add up like few do few of the circles of this brush and would fade off it wouldn't add some more as you drag your brush around it would stop so it depends on how many you add like for example 50 it would add just that many so let's add 20 for this tutorial and let the minimum diameter be to 0 and leave the remaining default let's change the scattering to 1000% on both axes and let the count be up to 1 we don't want many of the circles around it's just few shines so let's add this to 1 and the count jitter let it be 100% make sure smoothening is on once that's done let's as we already created a new layer let's brush this around somewhere like here you can see that as I drag it would not come more it, since we gave the fade to up to 20 it would not add more let's add some more over here and some here a few here it depends on you how you wherever you like to add them once you have done with that, let's add the same blending options of these curves to the particles by holding your alt key drag the effects again on your particles. You us see that the particles here look like, si like the curves effect look something similar. Okay, once you have done that, let's add the text which we would write using the text tool. Let's type in the font moonbeam we'll be using that with uh, size of about 80 points and we'll be using white color let's type in glow here and using the selection tool let's adjust this a bit let's give some space between this text once uh, you have your text layer selected you click on the character here you drag this out or you could simply just click on it you would get some more options which you can change for the text once you have typed it you could give some spacing between since it's minus 50 let's make this about 0 yeah that's some nice space you could even add if you have a paragraph you could change the height between the two lines once you've done that let's add another text around here you would write text effect once that's done let's press control enter you could come out of the text editing mode by clicking on this checkbox here 
or you could select your selection tool or press control enter which would accept and it's same like the checkbox shortcut key once you've done that let's change the size of this to about 50 points and add this over here let's drag this glow a bit on the right and let's keep this here once you've done that let's add the same effect we used for these particles and the curves for both the texts let's drag this on the glow and again this on the text effect it looks pretty good here so that's how we created this glow curves with the text effect the main idea is if you would like to change the color is starting it from the beginning which is the background color if since we used orange it's better that we take the glows to the same color if we use blue we would use blue combinations on all these blending options so that it would match the glow or else it would not properly glow the way it looks so that's it thanks for watching